When you think of the best investor in the world, who do you think of? For most, the answer is Warren Buffett. Buffett's average return since 1965 has been about 20%, which is double that of the S&P 500 in that same time period. Warren Buffett has been very vocal over his long career and shares a lot of tips that investors can use, but most ultimately ignore the advice. So in this video, we're going to be listening to Buffett and Charlie Munger explain how they would invest a small sum of money. So I will play the clip now and then we can discuss it a little bit further afterwards. My question is, if you're investing a small sum today, which approach would you use? Well, I would use the approach that I think I'm using now of trying to search out businesses that, where I think they're selling at the lowest price relative to the discounted cash they would produce in the future. But if I were working with a small amount of money, the universe would be huge compared to the universe of possible ideas I work with now. You mentioned that 56 to 69 was the best period. Actually, my best period was before that. It was from right after I met Ben Graham in 19, early 1951. But from the end of 1950 through the next 10 years, actually returns averaged about 50% a year. And they, I think they were 37 points better than the Dow per year, something like that. But that I was working with a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of money. And so I would pour through volumes of, of, of businesses and I would find one or two that I could put $10,000 into or $15,000 into that were just ridic were, they were ridiculously cheap. And obviously, as the money increased, uh, the, the universe of possible ideas started shrinking dramatically. The times were also better for doing it in that time. But I, I think that, I think if you're working with a small amount of money, with exactly the same background that Charlie and I have, and same ideas, same, same whatever ability we have, you know, I think you can make very significant sums. But you, but as soon as you start getting the money up into the millions, many millions, the, the, the curve on expectable results falls off just dramatically. Uh, but that's, that's the nature of it. it. You've got a you know, when you, you, when you get up to things you can put millions of dollars into, you've got a lot of competition looking at that and they're not looking as I did when I started. When I started, I went through the pages of the manuals page by page. I mean, I probably went through 20,000 pages. Uh, in the Moody's Industrial Transportation Banks and Finance manuals, and I did it twice, and I actually, you know, looked at every business. I didn't look very hard at some. Well, that's not a practical way to invest tens or hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, so I would say, if you're working with a small sum of money, uh, that, and you're really interested in in the, in the business and willing to do the work, you can, you will find something. If you were, I, you, you, there's no question about it in my mind. You will find some things that promise very large returns compared to what we will be able to uh, uh, deliver uh, with large sums of money. Charlie? Well, yeah, I think that's right. A, a brilliant man who can't get any money from other people and is working with a very small sum probably should work in very obscure stocks, searching out uh, unusual mispriced opportunities. You know, you could, that's such a small world. It may be a way for one person to come up, but it's a, it's a long slog. Yeah, most smart people, unfortunately, in Wall Street figure that they can make a lot more money, a lot easier, just by uh, one way or another, you know, uh, getting an override on other people's money or, 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 uh, uh, delivering services in some way that people, and, and the monetization of hope and greed, you know, is a way to make a huge amount of money. Uh, and right now it's very, just take hedge funds. I mean, it's, I, I've had calls from a couple of friends in the last month that don't know anything about that investing money. They've been unsuccessful and everything else. And, you know, one of them called me the other day and said, well, I'm forming a small hedge fund, 125 million, he was talking about. And, you know, like the thought that since it was only 125 million, maybe we ought to put in 10 million or something. Of sort. I mean, if you looked at this fellow's Schedule D on his 1040 for the last 20 years, you know, you'd think he ought to be mowing lawns. But, yeah. but he may get his 125 million. I mean, you know, and it's, it's just astounding to me 
how willing people are during a bull market just to, just to toss money around because they, you know, they think it's easy. And, and of course, that's, that's what they felt, felt about internet stocks a few years ago. They'll think about something else next year, too. But uh, the, the biggest money made you know, in, in Wall Street in recent years has not been made by great performance, but it's been by, by been made by great promotion, basically. Charlie, do you have any? Well, I would state it even more strongly. I, I think uh, the, the current scene is obscene. I think there's too much mania. There's too much chasing after easy money. As you can see in this clip, Buffett explained that when working with a small sum of money, and you're willing to put in the work to find undervalued companies, you can still see great returns. Just for review, the principles gathered from this video include, first, buying companies that are cheap and that will increase cash flows in the future. Second, find the right companies and don't just invest in anything that sounds good. Number three, to invest, you truly must understand the business you are investing in. Principle four, just because you made money on a stock during a bull market doesn't mean that you know what you're doing when investing. And lastly, number five, don't fall into mania, find the right companies at the right price. So by following these principles, even with a small sum of money to invest, you can see similar returns to what Warren Buffett achieved early on in his career. So if you made it this far in the video, consider leaving a like and also subscribing so you never miss another video like this. Thank you guys so much for watching.